Hi, my name is Byron Martin and I'm from Logis Greenhouses and today we're going to be talking about the black pepper or the pepper of commerce or the culinary pepper. And the botanical name of the pepper is Piper nigrum and it is a endemic species and native to South India um, in the lowland or uh, humid and hot tropics. And this is a potted plant that we have showing you the um, fruit green fruit here, then this is the ripening fruit. This is a cutting taken from our mother plant, but this actually shows you the uh, initiation of the flowers. So they come out as a small stem like this. Flowers form along the buds, and then as the fruit matures, it changes to these round uh, green corns, and eventually, um, as you can see here, it turns red. And it's at this point that the peppercorns can be picked um, and dried for um, use. The pepper, or Piper nigrum, makes a great container plant for uh, moderate light areas, east to west windows, where they can be grown on the windowsill and in preferring temperatures above 60 degrees. So one of the issues that growers or gardeners find with the pepper is that they have on the back sides of their leaves these um, small little beads that form and if you can see here up on these leaves is these black spots. This is a question that we get continuously thinking that it's an insect and actually it's not. It's part of the plant. There's an exuate of sugar, a little bead of sugar that forms on the back sides of the leaves and over time it turns black the sooty moles or opportunistic moles attack it and feed on it. It creates no harm to the plant at all. Another thing about the pepper is that it is year-round fruiting. So we do have flowers and fruit coming and so there's an endless supply of peppercorns that one can harvest off of them. Generally um, in the northeast we have cooler temperatures and shorter days so things do slow down a bit but we can pretty much count on the pepper being um, in fruit and in flower year-round for us. And they are a vine. They, they don't climb and tangle over things, but they do climb up things. And their um, culture can be either allowed to grow in a basket where they may hang down, but then you have to deal with the vine tangling up, or they can be staked. And an example of that is a stake here, which is kind of pull the plant together. As in all plants, there's a need for fertilization. And peppers are what we could consider a low to moderate feeder. We generally would recommend fertilization of a balanced fertilizer. That would be a soluble salt that you mix with water or a granular organic, which is top dressed or sprinkled on the top of the soil once a month, maybe in a dilute form every two weeks during the growing season. They can have too much, so one needs to be cautious about that. And as a rule of thumb, if they have higher light, they need more, and the temperatures are warm. If they have lower light, then it needs to be reduced. And as we go into the winter months, make sure that you reduce or restrict the fertilizer so that they don't burn from it. Peppers are resilient plants to grow, and we have produced them now for a number of years. and. They do have a few issues in terms of their culture if we violate um, some of their needs of watering, fertilization, and temperature. One would be root diseases, which they have susceptibility to under cool, wet conditions. And as you can see, this plant is being grown in a clay pot. They are plants that prefer a little bit on the dry side, and also a container like this allow the plant to really fill it out before you repot it. So that drying down, that period of dryness between waterings is what's going to maintain a healthy root system for you. The other thing is that they do have some susceptibility to insects. We consider them a low insect uh, attracting plant. Um, one of the main ones that we see on it from time to time, and we don't see it very often, is mealybug can get on them. Um, they really have no problem with spider mites or thrips or aphids and many of the other um, insects that affect container plants. So thank you for watching this video and um, try a pepper. It's um, probably one of the easier fruiting plants you can grow in the windowsill.